complain outside. There is something about, you know, you're performing outside. You, know, you think there's just something in the air. What a great feeling. The sunshine. Um, so, yeah, it just creates a, a wonderful feeling that for lyrics and just for, for performing and uh, the camaraderie with everyone. I can't tell you last year how many people, like I told you a minute ago, if I had one person come up, I had a thousand people come up say, where's Rhonda Vincent? Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. And your fans are here. I'm going to let you uh, sign autographs. Uh, people, it's not a requirement. This is Mark Kelly, uh, Rhonda Vincent. Thank you so much for coming back to the National Cornbread Festival, the 14th annual. Uh, you just left your concert. How was your concert this year? Well, it was good. I'm battling some bronchitis, but uh, we had fun, and uh, gr we're thrilled to be here. You know, uh, there was a mess up uh, on my husband's part, and we weren't able to make it last year, so I'm glad to be back. I know you said that I really had been disqualified, and I couldn't cook anymore, and I thought maybe that's what had happened. But I, I called the infraction committee with the NCAA, <laughs> and they said that you were ineligible. What, uh, what kind of conversation did you and your husband have after you realized that he had, had a, uh, created a scheduling conflict for you? You don't want to know. I said, you what? <laughs> what? Uh, you know, I had gotten a call from Martha White. They said, well, we have you scheduled for the Cornbread Festival. And it's like, we got to look. He said, you can't. You're already booked. And I said, well, then cancel it. And, and he said, well, I can't. You're already under contract. So we just had to make the best of it. We well, sure miss being here. You were truly missed. If, if I heard one person <laughs> say that we, they missed you, I must have heard 10,000 people oh. say they missed you. But you're here this year. Um, what pieces did you play in your concert this this yes just a minute ago? Well, we have a new album coming out, so we did some songs from there. Though we had people guess where they originally came from. Uh, Ronnie Millsap's song called uh, "Back on My Mind," and uh, Barbara Mandrell's "Tonight My Baby's Coming Home," and those are going to be on our upcoming project that we're working on. So. And what's the What's the name of your new album? I don't have a title yet. We we are literally in the midst of the studio creating all this. So, but lots of fun things. Dolly's coming in to sing on it. Uh, Richard Marks, uh, he was a big pop. Uh, singer in the 80s and uh, incredible songwriter and he and I have been phone pals uh, admiring the work of each other but not uh, I've never met him and I sent a file I had this song and I just could hear his voice uh, on this on the song and I sent it to him he said beautiful he added his special touch to it and I, I'm excited I have now yet to get to meet him in person how incredible is that <laughs> I have a potential name for the album you do what is that my husband done forgot the National Cornbread Festival. <laughs> uh, let's forget that he forgot it. <laughs> it. This is somewhat of a cliched statement. You do so many different varieties of music, but when you're when you're beginning to work on an album and when you're beginning to write your own music, what are there any particular influences that work as an impetus for your work? I mean, sometimes there is. Um, I just start. Lis I listen to songs all the time for something that I really love. And, you know, listening to WSM, heard back on my mind, I said, wow, that could be bluegrass. Um, you know, just, and I get thousands of songs from people. We listen to everything. So uh, there are new, brand new writers, lots of brand new writers on this new album, plus the, uh, you know, the old classics. So it, it's going to be neat to see how they, you know, mesh together. I have a song for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's why I'd rather spend the weekend with a bulldog than you. <laughs> uh. I don't think you're going to be writing my songs for some reason. Why do I think that? I'm, I'm, I'm totally kidding. When you, when you start planning your year and you, you hear about the National Cornbread Festival, it's on the schedule, what makes the National Cornbread Festival so special for you? Well, it's, you know, being here 10 years now, it's it's like a family reunion. Uh, I see people that I may only see here. You know, Wayne Tate, yeah. the first year we were here, I remember this so vividly because he walked I think 30 miles to be here our first time there and I told about it on stage and from that moment on I think people give they volunteer to give him rides here so I saw him here today and excited to, uh, to always see him here it's so amazing that, that people will do that for an artist that, that they'll walk or ride forever I don't think humbling quite places that <laughs> there is a word an adequate word in the American dictionary but Again, as, a, as an artist, you meet thousands of people. What sticks out in your mind about your fans that would go that far to come for here for a concert? Well, there's people here that came from Iowa. 
Uh, there's three folks that are, the Goodmans are here. I, I mean, it just amazes me, and it is. It's very humbling to say, oh my goodness, you would drive all that way to come see us on, you know, on a Sunday at the Cornbread Festival, and it's a true testament to what a great event that you have. You know, they, they want to uh, be part of the event, and that's what I think, it, it's become a family, and I see that they were wanting to get a, like a rager picture a while ago. It's like, I had to come over here, but um, there's a camaraderie between, uh, between the fans and the ragers, so it, it's just a wonderful thing. It's a family atmosphere uh, is a chance for my my uh, band you know Mickey's has his wife Crystal and Michaela's here and Aaron has Ethan and Katie and Amy here and and so it's a wonderful family time thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us we're about to hit the stage but again thank you for being here at the National Cornbread Festival my pleasure thank you Thanks.